Welcome back to All Mine Ranch. My name is Ryan and I'm building an off-grid homestead in Cochise County, Arizona, and I'm sharing that build here with you right now. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm about five weeks behind at this point. I've just been really busy with the projects and my day job is challenging. I just haven't had the motivation to both film and edit and upload and do all the things associated with YouTube. I apologize for that. I am trying to get back in the groove on that. My mom came for a visit. Hi mom. Uh, but she left and I've got some footage of a quick interview. I'm not sure which video I'll add it into, but I interviewed her. Um, she's going to share her thoughts on All Mine Ranch with you. Anyway, um, in the last video, I showed you my master plan for the property that my, I also talked about my thoughts on strategic planning and I showed you building out a door, a back door on my garage container. Now we're going to go to the other side of the container. I'm going to build out a 12 foot wall and show you that and then get started on digging holes and erecting four by fours for a carport, a 34 foot long carport which is an important ingredient for my ranch because I need shelter for my truck, my backhoe, my motorcycle and lumber, all that kind of stuff. And it, it needs to be dry and, and cozy <laughs> before the monsoon season comes, which is just like three months away. So I'm working hard on that. So let's dive into a wall build. All right, guys, I got some flooring in here. I took three pieces of OSB out of the main house and I put them down here so I have a nice smooth surface to walk on. Now it's time to start doing finishing this wall. I'm going to use scrap two by six. I have a bunch of short sections there. I have just enough to do 12 feet. It's going up along there. It's getting mounted right to the, uh, to the steel with metal screws. And that'll give me something to attach both my uh, sheathing to and uh, my vertical supports, my studs, basically. So I'm going to start on that. I'm tempted to bring out my new scaffold and have the platform low so I can just stand on the scaffold to do it. But dragging it out here over the gravel and all that, I'm just not sure if it's worth it. So I'm going to try with the ladder and see how that goes. All right, guys, I've got a few studs up. 
This is the type of siding that I'm going to use. It's going to take three panels here because that's 12 feet long. I've got two more that are going to go on the section on the far end of the container where it sticks out beyond the container. And it's a lot of work. It's a very non-standard construction method with the uh, metal, you know, lips and ledges and everything being, you know, not flat. So it's a little bit slow going, but I'm getting my method down. I've got about five more studs to do, and then this section of wall will be framed. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I can immediately start on trimming a couple of feet off the top of those uh, panels and uh, mount them up.
All right, guys. Oh, shit on the lens, huh? All right, guys. Progress is being made. I just finished my 12-foot wall. This is the interior of it. It's going to get bright, but let's step out here and see the exterior of it. Boom. There we go. There's three sections of that plywood up and done. So that wall's done. Now, across the top there, I'm going to start putting a band that's going to support the roof of the carport. So I'm moving into a new phase now, which is kind of cool. I'm actually going to start working on the carport. So let's jump into that. Hey guys, okay, I'm starting to attach the band for my carport, the thing that's going to support the weight of the roof to the top of my container. It's extending out five feet. It's kind of tricky working alone. I had to get up here on two scaffolds, use these clamps in a two by four under the rail to provide some support. I don't know if you can see that, providing some support. So that, because these uh, eight footers, actually that one down there is a 10 footer really heavy to cantilever out over half of its length out over you know that's 40 30 pounds maybe yeah it's too much 20 pounds sort of cantilevered out so by putting two of these pink two by fours up there held up with clamps it gives me a lip to sort of slide in these two by eights right behind it so i've got two of them up here if you can see that i got two of them up here now i got two more down here that i got to put up I gotta leapfrog my my scaffolds, get those in place, and put the other two up. And then I think I'm gonna call it a day because I'm pretty beat. So anyway, making progress. This is kind of cool. It's starting to starting to shape up here. That's how you do it. All right, let's stop the video right there. The next video will be digging the post holes, putting up the, the vertical uprights. I think there's six of those to do, and then starting it on the rafters, yada, yada, yada. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and the, there are Amazon links down below. So if you use those links to uh, check out Amazon and then buy anything, maybe I'll get a small commission uh, that helps support this channel. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the very next video coming in just a couple of days. Ciao.